is going on everybody i'm back again with another video and i'm back again in bay ridge brooklyn three years ago i came to this neighborhood for the first time not knowing much about it so i came here i made a video in this neighborhood and with my small channel it did a little over 20,000 views which i think is pretty decent and i was really impressed with this neighborhood probably one of the coolest neighborhoods in brooklyn because it's so diverse not only with the culture of the people but with the architecture that you find around this neighborhood from apartment complex shopping districts and main streets and beautiful townhouses around with vegetation from brownstone buildings it has a little bit of everything over here and you see a lot of cultures over here mostly like middle eastern but you see all types of nationalities all together so i think this neighborhood is pretty special and in some parts like i say it resembles a little bit of astoria queens just because of you know the diversity and some of the highways that happen around here but this is the heart of brooklyn all the way in the end so i'm starting my walk around here probably gonna walk a couple of blocks make it a fifth avenue which is one of the main districts and then i'll probably make it by colonial wall and show you how the houses look over there and we'll go deeper into the neighborhood to see what's going on after three years so i'm back again so without further ado join me here in the borderline by sunset park and bay ridge and there's a park over here and the highways will be around here with a couple of highways buildings but a pretty peaceful area over here there's a guy doing exercise and not much over here but this is where it's going to start by bay ridge so i'm going to start making my way down the southern tip of this neighborhood to see what's going on it's been a minute three years ago and happy to be back made a little detour around the street to show you a beautiful architecture over here that you'll see all over brooklyn which is kind of like the brownstone buildings this is only like three stories tall there's a little bit more ahead of me so i'm gonna walk and show you so one thing i like about brooklyn is the amount of brownstones they have and the way how it's covered up with the trees it's just like impressive architecture and they have it here in the heart of bay ridge and it keeps going forward you know if you go to crown heights uh brooklyn heights park slope they have neighborhoods that look, looks, that looks just like this you know but look at the details of the architecture it's pretty beautiful so i think now i'll probably do a few blocks or fourth avenue then make it to fifth avenue i think the main streets are fifth avenue third avenue like i say it's a big neighborhood surrounded by the highways but offers a lot you know you can spend a whole day exploring the, the neighborhood and pretty beautiful so i'm gonna explore every single corner of this neighborhood and show you guys what's going on and by the way the weather is just gorgeous like 72 degrees you know not hot not cold perfect weather and i think a really great neighborhood to explore when the weather is just gorgeous then this is fourth avenue and the subway line goes throughout this avenue to get here you could take the r train i got it from bay ridge but it takes you to 77 86 and the last stop 95th street so I think 86 and 77 is where the neighborhood is more deeper so but I got off of here so that way I can explore from every single corner of the neighborhood some pretty interesting things are happening ahead of me so let's see what's going on here in the corner we got Bay Ridge Cafe and in the bottom it has signs in Arabic so there's a there is a really high Arabic community over here so pretty nice you know it's also there's actually a market over here Macarena Central and there's shops across the street so you know I love exploring diverse neighborhoods, but yeah, look at this, pretty nice over here. Pretty interesting and beautiful. But let's see what else can we find. A couple of shops happening here, happening around here, but it's not busy, there's more on the other side, and you can see, not sure if you can see it clearly, but a lot of signs written in Arabic. I see Nile Ridge Pharmacy, so it must be like an Egyptian pharmacy, I guess. I think it's also like a huge, uh, Palestinian community over here and one thing that attracts about this neighborhood is that if you go all the way to the end you can actually see the Verrazano Bridge which will take you to Staten Island and Brooklyn and connects it's a beautiful view you know but we will go with that dirt a little bit forward but let's see if we can make it a fifth avenue and for the most part the neighborhood is super residential with its main streets you will see a lot of apartment complex a lot of vegetation with the trees all surrounded around and you see so i say there's diversity in structure for architectures you got probably like the east side of bay which looks like this but if you go towards the west side it's more like of a suburb feel like it doesn't even feel like you're in the city of brooklyn and you will look at it ahead once i make it over there i'll probably make it between 81st or 82nd street i think those are like the nicest streets around with the beautiful houses and stuff just to show you, you know, how one street, one side of the neighborhood changes from another side of the neighborhood. Now I'm approaching Fifth Avenue, which is probably 
the main or the busiest avenue you're gonna find in Bay Ridge and it goes all over Brooklyn to Sunset Park but now we're gonna walk around and see what's going on over here and so far you know pretty cool start seeing the diversity over here I think if I go a little bit more south it gets busier more packed I think the first time I came here, not sure if it was the beginning of the pandemic or before, but it was a little different vibe, but yeah. This over here resembles a little bit of Steinway Avenue in Queens. This is the Brooklyn version. We got a beautiful supermarket here. Loving it so far. It's probably one of the best neighborhoods in Brooklyn, Bay Ridge. And it just keeps going. Excitement and all of that. A lot of halal spots over here, so yeah. yeah I can't believe it's been a whole three years since I've been here. But I'm glad I made it back. It's only probably like a 30 minute commute from lower part of Manhattan. If you take the R train straight, we got a lot of tons of uh, food options over here. The last time I came, I was able to eat in a Turkish restaurant. I'm not sure if it might be this one, Turkish kebab. I think this is the one that I ate. And it was really good. I'm a fan of Turkish food, really good, you know, healthy options. And the way how they be grilling the chicken and the meat is pretty good. And they offer like veggies, so, you know. And I made a little detour off of Fifth Avenue to show the difference of the streets once they get off the main road. And this one here is beautiful, covered with the vegetation of the trees. But look at this, some of the apartments here, they have balconies. But it's pretty rare to find, you know, around New York. It kind of resembles like if you're in the south. And then the traditional brownstones that you're going to find in Brooklyn, which is pretty beautiful. So yeah, only seeing another portion of the neighborhood and it's so interesting. Well, let's head back to Fifth Avenue and see what else is going on over there. There are tons of restaurants all over the avenue, across the street. And even here too, and in the corner, there's another market. Another market, this is like a super local neighborhood in Brooklyn and a nice, safe neighborhood to explore around, you know, I love it here. Another cool thing also is that I heard they got some good pizza spots here in Bay Ridge. I even forgot the name of it, but I heard, you know, there's a competition called Where's the Great Pizza in New York and I heard Brooklyn is one of the spots where you could find some authentic great pizza, but yeah. Not really a big pizza guy, but I heard good pizza, they might be fine over here in this neighborhood. Another thing that I find interesting about here is that even in the main street like this where you see all the shops all the restaurants they got trees that literally covers the entire street which you don't see in pretty much other neighborhoods in new york city but here you will see trees that cover the streets in a regular small street but over here it's literally covering the main avenue or fifth avenue so that's something that's pretty interesting pretty interesting and it makes the neighborhood look pretty cool you know like cafes pastry shops and then it's like also a little bit uh, peaceful. You don't see too much of a crowd happening over here. They're renovating the roads, vegetation all over, optical spot. I tell you, this keeps going and look, see trees. They're recovering the main avenue. Another difference of walking here versus a couple of years ago is that when I walked through here, it was literally getting dark. So it's pretty different when it's dark in daytime. I couldn't really see clearly, you know. But yeah, it's a bustling neighborhood happening over here. Restaurants, barber shops, diversity of the people. But now I think I'm gonna merge right and make it to the west side or the neighborhood of Bay Ridge. One thing I know there's tons of supermarkets over here. So you don't really need like a big chain of supermarket, but let's merge into a tiny street to see what's going on. And even in the little street, you can see how the trees cover the entire road. And like I said, it's pretty residential. Super residential. I'm pretty sure they do activities around this neighborhood in the summertime. But yeah. There's a lot of life happening over here. Yeah, I'm gonna start working my way towards the west side of this neighborhood. Maybe I'll make it a third avenue and see a little bit what's going on over there and then go more towards Colonial Road and 
That's gonna be a different vibe from this side of the neighborhood. You'll see. So now I'm crossing 4th Avenue. You can see how the houses change over here. A little bit colonial. So we're gonna walk deeper. And little by little, the, the vibe is gonna change. It's gonna feel more like a suburb than a city or a borough. But that's the beauty about New York City. That there's so much to offer you can spend forever exploring every single neighborhood here the houses are glued together like i say tons of trees around this neighborhood there are other neighborhoods in brooklyn that I have yet to explore like midwood i already did bensonhurst but i think i like this neighborhood better than bensonhurst so ahead of me is third avenue which is also like another main street here in bay ridge not sure if there's much happening over here but i'll probably take a peek at some of the spots here and then keep going more towards the west side so this is third avenue and also it got its shot but it's not as busy as fifth avenue and still the trees i like how it covers the road over here which is pretty nice wow japanese food right there mexican joint i also saw a gyro spot a little fort and i'm a fan of gyros 79th Street is right here, so I'm probably gonna cross the street and make it to my right. 79th Street is over here and pretty beautiful, the street. Pretty beautiful. I think this is a super underrated neighborhood in Brooklyn and New York City too. It, I, it has a lot to offer, you know, and a lot to see. So we're here little by little from the city starting to feel more like a suburb which is pretty interesting. Pretty sure during the summer, during the holidays, they do a lot, of, a lot of activities over here. As I'm walking around, one thing I notice about the neighborhood is that I see a lot of American flags. And I think it must be one of the most, it might be because I think I saw that in the documentary, one of the most patriotic neighborhoods in New York. But yeah, look at this, I'm pretty peaceful and quiet. But when I go on the other side, the houses are gonna be a little bit more separated. Wow. Just crazy when you end up at the main street and then you do a detour and you can end up in streets like this. Like you can literally get it all in the neighborhood. The further I go, the nicer it gets more vegetation, more trees. I think this ahead of me is Rich Boulevard, if I'm not mistaken. Look at this house. It looks like a lighthouse. Just keeps going. Another cool neighborhood not far from here, not far from here is Diker Heights, which they pretty much know it because of decorating the Christmas lights. But when I was walking there in the nighttime, I noticed a lot of beautiful houses. So I got to come back during the daytime and explore the neighborhood and see what's going on over there because it looks pretty interesting. So ahead of me is Colonial Road. So I'm probably going to do like two more blocks. This is 79th Street, so I'll probably make it to 81st Street and walk all the way to the right so you can see how beautiful the houses are. This is what Colonial Road looks like. Like I say, this part over here is looking more like a suburb. This feels like you're in Brooklyn or somewhere in New York. <laughs> but New York is not just skyscrapers and buildings and apartment complex. They have houses like this. They have beautiful, nice neighborhoods like this. In here, look at this house as well. Pretty interesting. The sidewalks are, you know, well maintained. This looks really different from Coney Island, downtown Brooklyn, which is covered with skyscrapers down here. It's like a suburb. Like I tell you, Brooklyn himself, it could be its own city. And I was reading like, if it would be like its own city, it would be one of the top uh, 10, actually one of the top five most popular city in the United States. I think it has roughly like 2.5 million people that live here. So yeah. Even, I don't know, every single ball in New York could be like its own city because it's so massive and so big. But yeah, this is really gorgeous over here. I'm in 81st Street and wow. It's plain gorgeous. All I hear is like the birds, the trees, the nature. I'm gonna show you guys. Look at the spring vibes. Peaceful and quiet. And I like, like, I like how some of the houses are like raised above. You know, it's just gorgeous here. Stretch through the buildings, you know, beautiful. Look at it. You can get it all. It's literally like a fairy tale, like the houses. Not sure if they decorate for the Christmas over here, but yeah. 
some massive townhouses that makes it feel like if you're in New Jersey, Long Island, or Westchester County, like outside the city. Just look at it, it's just beautiful. These houses are beautiful too, wow. And even better that it has the trees and the vegetation, so it makes it even nicer and more interesting to walk around. Just look at the size of these houses, wow. I told you, this looks so different from Fifth Avenue. I mean, the sidewalks are like well paved, you know, they design the sidewalks. So I'm not sure if it's part also of the house that they develop it. And over here too, and they got their own driveway, you know. It's a pretty residential area. But it's in an open street, so you can just wander around. I gotta say, even though I live near here, I walk around, I always feel like a tourist every time I go in different neighborhoods in New York City. There's so much to do. Hey, look at this. Wow. It's just gorgeous. And it seems like they paved this road over here. It smells fresh and clean. And there's a park over there ahead of me, I think. That's another cool thing about Bay Ridge. They got the park, but the main attraction is to my right side where you're gonna get the view of the river. And if you go all deep down, you'll see the bridge. The real sign of bridge, and there's even like a waterfront. You can walk around, you can bike, do exercise. So it's something that's pretty interesting. So I said it many times, a super, super underrated neighborhood in Brooklyn. So another interesting fact is they have a house that literally looks like the gingerbread cookie or the gingerbread house, man. <laughs> and it's right here ahead of me. I knew it was around here. I came here the last time, but look. See, like a point, they got a massive yard. Just look at this house, wow. Look at the ceiling, how it's designed. Oh, this is gorgeous right here. And then they got a park there ahead. I mean, it's a school, I'm not sure, but yeah. Wow, this house is pretty gorgeous. I don't know if you can see it because it's a little bit dark, but yeah. Wow. Amazing. Here we got some of the parks. They got a track field. I think also like a football field. But you got to see the Verrazano Bridge in the end. And there's a basketball court right here. It's a pretty interesting. And even across the park, get the houses over here. Still the feel of the suburb. Right in the heart of Brooklyn, New York. But yeah, I'm glad I came back here to see what's going on in the neighborhood. See, it's still beautiful with the houses and everything. But now I'm gonna make it to 86th Street and walk all the way to Shore World to show you, to show you another side of this neighborhood that looks pretty cool and pretty awesome views. This is still Colonial Road. But yeah, so far I'm having a great day here exploring this neighborhood. This is 86th Street right here. And if you head towards the other side behind me, between 4th Avenue, that's where they got the R train stopping over there. It's like busier than over here. You'll see like a lot of shops, you know, even chain stores, I think. So yeah, like I say, there's a lot to explore over here. I'm making it a shore road, which you got the waterfront right here, and I feel Staten Island is on the other side, and this is like a different vibe over here. So I'll probably do a few blocks over here, because I got some condos, and then I'll cross the other side to show you what's going on over here. As you can still see some beautiful houses happening around here. Yeah, it's pretty lovely here. So this area over here kind of resembles, in some point, Riverside Drive around Manhattan by the Upper West Side going all the way to Harlem. But this is the Brooklyn version. So you can see they got roads that'll take you all the way down. It's called Shore Road Park. It's literally covering trees, so you can't really see much. There's a highway over there, and I think there's a way to cross to the other side, and you'll walk by the water. I'm probably going to make it to the end and see what's happening on the other side. But as I said, they got the benches, everything. Even though there's no view, but you get a little bit of breeze. And it's a good place to unwind and relax from the chaos that you're going to find in Manhattan. And there's like a different bob over here, just hopping the subway and go around. So I like the fact how they got everything from suburb feel, from apartment complex, stores, and then you get recreational parks where you can just exercise, unwind, enjoy yourself and just chill. It's not sure if you can see, but over there is the highway. between the Bell Parkway pass over there and then the water right there. 
it turns into the Atlantic Ocean and then goes to the Hudson River. So I found like a little sidewalk that would take you into the park. So I'm making it down the park, not sure what I'm gonna find over here. A little by little, you can see the view of the water. And it's like refreshing to feel, you know, there's like a cool breeze here by the water. And then a lot of vegetation, some lot of trees going on in the neighborhood is over that way. Like the first time I came, I don't think I walked this side, but it would take me deep down to the end of Bay Ridge, close to the 95th Street. So we're gonna walk around and see what else can we find in this amazing neighborhood. Seems like they just cut the plants over here. You can see all the leaves littering the sidewalk. Oh, and there's a bridge over here. Maybe I'll cross this bridge and go to the other side. It's gonna be intense. And then I see the Verisana Bridge, which I'm gonna show you guys in a bit. This is the over passage. Woo, it's windy over here. You know I'm scared of heights, but still. A nice view. The highway I'm passing by. It's, it's kind of like a little bit foggy ahead of me. We're probably gonna walk the entire land for this park to see what's going on. Made it to the other side. Not sure how if you can hear me because it's super windy, but this is the Verisano Bridge that's standing on right there to my left. And it's a little bit foggy, so you can't really see what's going on. Very amazing view. I usually, when I take the ferry to go to Rockaway, it passes under this bridge. And over there, I can actually see um, Lower Manhattan, I think, or Jersey City ahead, but it's really, really foggy, so you can't really see much, but still a pretty interesting view. So this waterfront is super long. It even has a bike lane, so I think the best way to get around is biking, but still, I'm gonna walk it by the bridge area, and this will be a way for me to get back into the neighborhood. First time that I walk around here, but I drove by a couple of times once I get off the bridge, I drove by to go to JFK Airport. So a different vibe when you're walking. So far, walking a lot. And this is pretty massive and pretty nice. But this would be Fort Hamilton on ahead of me. Yeah, you can see a highway approaching Versano Bridge. And it literally feels like you're somewhere else. But pretty interesting. This is the Versano Bridge, you can see it's super, super massive structure. I don't know, the construction workers are super brave to build this because I've said many times I'm really scared of heights, so I would be scared to be all the way in the top over there, but yeah. Pretty nice, and then you get an amazing view, static island right here, and the waterfront of Bay Ridge. I'm making it back again into the neighborhood, gonna figure my way back. There's a street over here, and Probably see what else is around there and then wrap up the video. So I passed the bridge and the neighborhood should be around here. Back again into the Bay Ridge. So I'm gonna study the map again and figure out where should I go. Then back again, the neighborhood right here. I think this might be a bus stop or the ending of the bus stop. And they got public restaurants over here underneath. But there's another interesting park ahead of me that I wanna check out. So let's see if I can cross the street. So here, the other side of the park, that is literally in the beginning, is literally in the beginning of the Versano Bridge, so, yeah. I really love the vegetation in this neighborhood, how it has tons of trees no matter where you go. Here's another park, John Paul Jones Park. And there's a little park, I guess, underneath the bridge, but it got some pretty cool stuff here ahead of me. Literally looks like a little fort over there, you know. We could walk around. Let's see. Those literally around over here. And they got like that thing like it resembles back in the days when they got that warship over there. And this is the structure that it serves right here. Pretty high. It's a little similar to the one they got in DC, but this is super huge. It's actually a monument right here. Dover Patrol Monument. By 1931, designed by Sir Aston Webb. 75 feet tall, this structure over here. Oh, just another icon that you're gonna find over here. Look, it even tells you the year, 1931. Just pretty nice. Then over here, you can see the Versano Bridge at the end. So like I say, definitely, for those who are around the area in the tri-state, definitely 
trying to make your way to this neighborhood girl. there's a lot to see over here and pretty cool the park keeps going over here then i see a residential area over there and I'm not sure if i see a gate so i'll figure my way i probably can't go there because i think there's a fort but there's like another monument over here ahead of me so this over here is the entrance to the army base fort hamilton so you know it's a private area unless you got a permit unless you're in the base you can get in but i'll walk over here and probably make it back to fifth avenue it's been an amazing day in this amazing neighborhood so now the street here 100th street as you can see pretty residential and all structures of buildings but yeah i think i've seen pretty much a lot around this beautiful neighborhood once i get to fourth avenue it goes up the hill and if you look back it'll be like a nice view of the Versailles bridge resembling the neighborhood then ahead of me is fourth avenue but if you go forward it will merge with fifth avenue and i think if i look to my left it should be a nice view of the bridge then i see some apartment complex and let me show you guys what's going on over here sorry and yep that's it right there wherever sano bridge and ahead is fourth avenue not much happening over here like i said this is a pretty big neighborhood and diverse in terms of culture and the people that live around here so yeah always amazing when i come here this is my second time in this neighborhood after three years and i'm glad that i came back for an update to see what's going on and it never disappoint me over here fifth avenue merges where fourth avenue 95th street and this is like a new development over here more going on like a little plaza you see i like how wide the streets are pretty nice and clean neighborhood the subway train is right there to my left for the r train this is actually the last stop on the r train and it would take you all the way to forest hills and queens tons of restaurants over here too oh yeah pretty pretty cool so i'll probably make my way to 86th street because i don't think i've been in that area that's another stop at the subway line but there's probably a couple of business over there so i'll probably check it out to see what's going on over there and then i'll wrap up the video getting close to 86th street and then around here you can start seeing how there's a lot of spots a lot of food options i see a bagel spot ahead of me also see a pizzeria and a couple of chinese cuisines across the street it says here sunset bagels opens 24 hours and that must be the busy 86th street ahead of me also see some halal joints going on kung fu tea right here pretty interesting yeah the first time i came to bay ridge i don't think i walked this side uh 86th street and it looks like it's pretty busy too so let's check out this little short part and see what's going on and here we got a pizzeria that's called pizza wagon must be pretty cool you order right here and you eat your pizza mm. and this is 86th street and optical and then it got a street art so let's make a left to see what's going on so then this is 86th street and like i said a couple of chain stores couple of shops happening around here but I noticed a lot of businesses are closed Century 21 they shut down I also saw in Models and the other side they shut down and since like they got some food vendors over here mm. so I guess the busiest part of Bay Ridge happens over here and this must be like the outdoor shopping area because they got stores that you'll see in the mall like Foot Locker, AT&T they got Victoria's Secret um, then they got a gym, Planet Fitness, Sephora. So pretty much what you're gonna find in any other mall, you're gonna find it in this street. Then still, I like how clean the streets is. Yeah, the sidewalk, pretty well developed. What is this? Oh, they got a teriyaki spot here. Mm, pretty interesting. Just like they got one in Manhattan, a teriyaki spot for nine dollars. They literally load up your plate of food. Then a couple of fast food chains right here. But why would you want fast food chains when you could get like a local cuisine or restaurant and support the business here in New York City? And this must be a bus stop because you see a line of people waiting over here. And then we made it back again to uh, 4th Avenue. Just like a semi Main Street and then the subway station is right here. 86 noodles, there's actually a Turkish spot ahead of me. Kebab joint. Buffet and cafe. I wonder what type of food they sell over there. 
So I think that concludes the end of my video here exploring Bay Ridge in Brooklyn. So that was the end of my video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Be safe out there. Everybody, God bless y'all and peace. <laughs>